Hey guys, it's Julie and I'm with Frenchie and she is going home very shortly. So I'm taking her on one last walk. Gives her an opportunity to run through what she's gonna be doing with her owner with a brand new handler, which is me. Gabby has done all of the training, all of the proofing, and now I'm stepping in, acting as a clueless stranger who's taking the leash, and now I'm going to ask her to do all the things she's learned over the past three weeks so she can generalize thinking every human who asks you to do something, you have to listen. That's how beautiful this remote collar training is because if the person handling her knows how to communicate with her, they can get everything that she knows and she's gonna listen. That's why it transfers to the owners so seamlessly. So right now I have her in a really nice heel position. French Bulldogs don't need to be pulling you on the walk. They don't need to be choking themselves out. They don't need to be pulling to the point where their eyes are bulging. Um, they can walk in a nice heel just like any other dog. When I stop, she should sit her down. Sit. That's a good girl. I'm gonna flip the camera around. We're gonna do some downstays and some recall. Down. What a good girl. When she's in her down, she should stay until either released or recalled or told to heal. So basically she should stay until she's given another command or she's released for free time. Very good girl. We proof this by adding distractions, tempting things that will get her to break, adding some distance and increasing the time that she spent in the command. The more things that you do with her every day to proof this command, make it stronger and less likely for her to break in the future, which means she can go places and you don't have to worry. Let's try a recall. So I'm gonna recall her by saying C-O-M-E. I'm gonna also tap the tone button on my e-collar. E she's gonna come running to me, I'm gonna praise her, and she's gonna sit her down somewhere at my feet. Come, good girl, baby, good girl. Sit, good girl. Down, very good girl. Heel and then we can put her in an off-leash heel. Let's give her some free time. So if you're wondering when does she get a break to go potty, you pick the spot where she's gonna go. So I'm gonna pick this grassy area right here. We're gonna heal her to that spot. We're gonna stop, have her sit, and then release her. Sit. Good girl. Break, good girl. And now she can go potty. So you notice, you picking the spot where your dog's going, they're not dragging you there. And then you're picking when it's over. Come, heal, and then we leave. She doesn't have to go because she was just out. And we off leash heal home. Notice the leash is dragging. We always tell owners to have their leash dragging. Just as an added layer of safety, especially in an urban area like this. Notice if I slow my pace, she slows hers. One way to keep your dog paying attention is to keep your pace unpredictable so they have to watch your leg. I think she's ready to go home and practice this with her owner. Look at that. It's pretty darn good.